Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the candy tasting edition of um, me trying to expand my palate. So I've got candy from uh, five different countries, um, Puerto Rico, so the United States. Um, I got mochi from Japan. I've got some red bean jelly from Korea. Um, I've got some English candy, and then I've got some bug candy that I don't know where it's from, but it's got bugs in it. So I'm um, going to start off with the United States and Puerto Rico, and it's called, I'm going to pronounce it incorrectly, I know, Dolce Tapicos. Um, I even had a friend from Puerto Rico tell me how to pronounce it, and I still got it, I get it wrong. Uh, but this is actually made of coconut, which I don't like, but I wanted to give this a shot because um, I've heard it's like the, it's a very traditional candy. It's made of a lot of different kinds of fruit, sweet potatoes, uh, sesame, a bunch of different flavors. Um, this was the one they had available at the international market. Um, and I've just heard it's delicious. So um, I wanted to give it a shot. So sorry for butchering it, but it's Dolce's to Picos. All right, well, I don't like the coconut flavor, <laughs> I can tell you that. Um, it's very grainy. I don't know if they're all like that. It's not terribly chewy. Um, it's just the texture of the coconut. Um, so I don't like it um, because of the coconut flavor, but it's very, very sweet, like exceptionally sweet. Um, and it does kind of, look right here, I've got it in the jar. It just kind of crumbles. It's kind of crumbly. Um, so I don't know if all of them are like that, but this one, the coconut one is. So I do have a glass of milk. Yes, there's ice cubes in it. I like really, really cold milk. And there's my cat. So, okay. Um, you, if you like coconut, I think you'd like that because it's really sweet. It's an odd texture, though. So, the next, I'll try the bug candy. Okay, so all it said on the package was ant wafers. Um, and the second ingredient in this is black ant. So I start, I figured if I'm going to start with bugs, I'm going to pick one that's like, doesn't have a lot of like internal organs. Ugh, so, okay. So it's just little like chocolate wafers you can see on there. It's like white chocolate uh, with like milk chocolate in it. And you can see, oh, wrong way. Ugh, yuck. You can see little bug parts in there. <laughs> okay. It just, oh, yeah, it tastes like chocolate. Oh, but it's crunchy, like. If I didn't know what it was, I'd be okay with it. I wouldn't have had any reaction. And you like, in the cross section, I can't even see anything, so. But just knowing that I just ate ants. Yeah, um, but I did, oh, no, there's a weird taste. I guess that's what ants taste like. A little bit like um, like a nutty kind of flavor that's kind of mixed in there, but not like, I don't know how to describe it. But I ate ants and I did not throw up. Okay. Yeah. Um, I have three more if anybody wants them. Let me know. <laughs> you can have them. That's not something I'm going to be snacking on. Um, so the next one is from Korea, and it's just called Sweet Red Bean Jelly. Um, I looked it up online, and there's really not a lot of information. There's a lot of recipes on it, um, but it just said um, if this will fill your craving for red beans, if you really like red beans, but um, it's a very popular candy, apparently, in Korea. I think I have a ant leg. Ugh, let me get another drink. Sorry. <laughs> a little something in my mouth. It wasn't moving, but... Ugh. Okay, so I cut off a little piece. Um, it is just like, um, it's like chewy, squishy. No, I didn't really taste anything. It doesn't have a whole lot of a smell. Sweet. Um, it doesn't smell like beans, so I don't know, but I'll give it a shot. Oh, 
right, so there's like a bean texture. Okay, there comes the flavor, because at first I, I tasted hardly anything. No. That's not candy. <laughs> um, you do get like a texture of like refried beans, like the smashed up beans. It is sweet. There's a look, I mean, it's not a very strong bean flavor. I don't think so, but it's not, it's not disgusting, but it's not something I would want to try again. It's not. So again, if anybody would like to try some, I've got a whole package full of it at my house. Let me know. <laughs> so, all right, let me get that out of my mouth. Next, we have mochi from Japan. I had no idea that this was not ice cream. I thought the only uh, mochi I've ever seen has been ice cream at the store. Um, but this is a package in their candy section of the Japan section of the international market. So um, they had several different kinds. This one, I think this came out of the thing, <laughs> um, has four different flavors. Um, I, I don't know how to use chopsticks. I looked it up online. People ate it with chopsticks, but I... Maybe I'll do a video on that later. I, I really suck at that. So um, there are four different flavors. This one right here is uh, taro. It's in the package. It it's supposed to be purple. It doesn't really look purple. Um, it is not sticky at all. Um, but it has a really good smell. It smells just kind of like a cupcake, but it's made out of um, they're called sweet rice cakes. Uh, so it's made of a, a rice flour. And it's, uh, I know they said they beat it, beat it with some other ingredients until it's uh, really smooth. Let me try to break it apart. Okay, it's really stretchy. Maybe this isn't the tarot one, because that's, okay, because it's not purple on the inside either. It's just kind of brown. Okay. Um, doesn't smell bad. Weird texture. Kind of really thick mashed potatoes it's not bad it's not good though it's it's kind of bland um, I don't know if that's an American thing where we're used to our desserts being like super sweet you know like those the cupcakes that are just huge and the milkshakes that have like cupcakes stuck in pie stuck on them I don't know if that's just something we've gotten used to in America like super super sweet things because it's not very sweet it's got an unusual, like, really creamy but thick texture. So, this one right here, I believe, is red bean. So, something else with red bean. I don't, I didn't know that was a thing in other countries, that red bean was a big dessert thing. But, feels the same. Still very stretchy. Yep, you can see the red bean in the middle. Smells like beans. I don't know, this doesn't sound very desserty to me. Like, Red beans is dinner, <laughs> like with rice. So, oh, no, 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 no. Oh God, it just won't go away. It just keeps chewing. Um. Oh, that one's not good. That is like straight bean paste like it's not sweet um it's like dough uncooked dough wrapped around beans god so i'm gonna say no to the red bean mochi that's that's not good the next one is sesame i don't know what it's filled with it just has sesame all over it sesame seeds so i'm gonna oh it's black And the sesame seeds are going everywhere. Oh, okay, okay. Coffee. It smells like coffee. So, but it's black in the middle. So this might be one. Oh God, unless it's like black coffee, which I like cream and sugar. Okay. It's like coffee grounds. Yeah. Or. I don't even want to finish chewing it, but this is for science. No, 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 no. Ugh. 
So I don't know the ingredients <laughs> on that one. It doesn't say coffee. It says sesame and sesame paste. It tastes like like coffee grounds though. It smells like coffee, so I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. Um, yeah. Um, the last one is green tea, so. I saved a really good one for last, the one I, I know I'm gonna like, because it's just from England and it looks American. <laughs> so, um, so the green tea one is just filled with green tea. Again, very stretchy, chewy. It smells like tea. It has a very light smell. It smells kind of good. Kind of bland. Not a whole lot of flavor. Unsweetened tea. Again, I, I'm glad I can say that I've tried it. I don't like it. Weird aftertaste. Oh, like a it's like shampoo. I don't know if I have a green tea shampoo, but it definitely reminds me of shampoo. So it's a no for the mochi. A no for the ants. And then no <laughs> for the Dolce Stupico. Stupico? I don't know how to pronounce that. It would be okay if I liked coconut. Um, and the red bean paste, just weird, but it's not disgusting. So while we were in the international market, a woman from England was in the English section with us and said I had to get an English Milky Way. And I asked her what the difference was and she said it's just the way it's, uh, the product it's made out of because they require real products with less chemicals than we do in the United States. So, God bless them. So, looks, looks like a regular little mini Milky Way. Um, I didn't read the, in the ingredients, but I'm just gonna see if there's any difference in it. Doesn't Milky Way have caramel? Tastes like a Milky Way. I thought Milky Way had caramel in it. But it's good. It's a little bit different color. It's, I don't know if you can see that. It's a little bit yellow. And I think ours is a, a little bit different. Um, it does have, I think, a little bit chocolatey flavor. But it's good. I mean, it's really good. And it gets the taste of the mochi out of my mouth. So that one, thumbs up. So, sorry. Chocolate with my mouth full. Um, I ate ants. I did it. I don't want to do it again. Just, I mean, if I had to for nutritional value, I mean, I'm dying. I guess I could, but I don't know why otherwise. It's not pleasant. And the, the thinking that there were bugs in my mouth was just unpleasant. So that's it for the candy edition. Um, next up, I have eggs. I've got a couple different eggs, and I am currently in the oven baking things with chicken eggs and duck eggs to see what the difference is and how they rise and all that kind of stuff. So I'll taste eggs next. So um, I have quail, duck, and chicken and um, pickled. I've never tried pickled eggs. So I hope you all learned something that you might want to try or want to avoid, but have a good evening and I'll see you later.